Hey everyone, it's Heather here. So I ordered from a couple of places, just little tiny orders. Um, just like a couple of yarns from each place. Um, just little small orders. Um, some of it is not what I was expecting, I'm not going to lie. So let's start with Hobby Lobby. I ordered this yarn because it looked really cool. And I seen it in the store when I went... But, I don't know, I just, I didn't get it. They, it wasn't on sale at the time, but when I ordered it, it was on sale. It was 30% off. Because you know how Hobby Lobby every other week will have 30% off. So, I ordered it instead. Um, it's called Arabella. It's Yarnby Arabella. I think that's how you say it. Yarnby Arabella. Um, it's really cool looking. It's neat. It's different. Um, it's got how it goes from like a lighter like rose color. You can't really see it on my camera. But it goes from like a rose red to a really deep like a dark. Um, it's soft. It's like super soft. It is 55% cotton, 45% acrylic. Um, it's a bulky 5, is what they classify it as. Um, it says machine washable and dryable. Um, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 105 yards, 96 meters. And the color that I have is called Beautiful Berry. So this one's Beautiful Berry. That's the Arabella. And then I ordered it in this color, too, because I thought this was this one I thought was really neat. It's the Yarnby Arabella Metallic. Now, this was the only color that I saw that they had. Like, this was the only one that it showed. Um, and this one is 50% acrylic, 49% cotton, 1% metallic polyester, uh, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 112 yards, or 102 meters. Machine washable and dryable to bulky 5. Um, the color I have here is called Unicorn. So this was the only one, and it has a bunch of different colors in it. I think it even has, because, let me see. Yeah, the further you dig, the more colors. Like, it's got multiple colors. It's multicolored, and it's got the metallic, so it's sparkly. I thought this was neat, too. And this was the, the Unicorn was the only one that I saw. But it, it was unicorn, so I had to get some of that. And it's originally four ninety nine, but I did not pay four ninety nine for it. I had it for thirty percent off. So, so that's what I got from Hobby Lobby. That's it, just those two. And then I got uh, Hershner's. Um, I got a couple things from Hershner's. Um, so I got Sundance Sweets. Um, it's Red Heart Super Saver feel to me. I mean, it's what it kind of feels like. Maybe just a tad softer than that. Not quite as rough, but, but well, Red Heart Super Saver is kind of, I don't know. Some of it's softer than it used to be, so I don't know. Uh, it's, it's not bad. Um, it's 100% acrylic. 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 164 yards, 150 meters. Um, machine wash and dryable to medium four weight, made in China. The color I have is called Jelly Beans. They have some cute name colors. This one, I don't know, this one I thought was cute. I have something in mind for this. So, and then from Hershner's I got, now believe it or not, I've never had this. I've seen it lots of times. I've skimmed over it. Um, this is the Premier Spun Colors. Most of you guys are probably familiar with the Spun Colors. I've never personally had it. I've seen it. I've looked at it, but I just never bought it. So, it's 419 yards, 385 meters, 7 ounces, 200 grams, 65% acrylic, 35% fine wash, fine super wash merino, a medium four weight. Um, hand wash, lay flat to dry. And the color I got is called Iris. 
Um, and the reason why I got this is because if you guys seen, if any of you have seen the video that I did on Hobby when I got the, um, what was it called? The Picasso. I think that's how you say that one. The Picasso yarn. I absolutely loved it. And it was in the color Tundra, I do believe. And they had another color that was similar to this one. Like, it looked similar to this. But they were out of stock. And now I don't even see it on there in the Picasso yarn. So, and they only had, like, a couple of colors last time I checked. They only showed, like, two or three colors. Because it was for a limited time. So they don't even have it. And I thought this reminded me a lot of it. I mean, it's really soft. So I don't know why I never bought this before. But, yeah. So it just, that's why I bought it, because it reminded me of one of the colors that I had wanted in the Picasso. But it's a lot cheaper than the Picasso, so. So that's nice. That's a, and then I just got some Hershner's Worsted 8 yarn um, in the Christmas colorway. 100% um, acrylic, 8 ounces, 226 grams, 489 yards, 447 meters, medium 4 weight, made in China, Red Heart Super Saver feel it's not soft but it's Christmas yarn and I'm gonna have Christmas stuff in mind for this so yeah and this one's just called Christmas so that's what I got from Hershner's okay so that's Hershner's now let's get on to uh Dear Moore's I think that's how you say it I would never know with some of these names so Dear Moore's I got just two things um I think you say cabaret double knitting uh, from Stylecraft. Cabaret. I think that's, I think I'm pronouncing it right. So it's Stylecraft. Um, it's really pretty. I thought this was a really pretty color. Like the colorway and it's metallic. You know, I love sparkly yarns. Um, I have another project in mind for this one. That's why I bought it. Um... It is 98% premium acrylic, 2% polyester, approximately 230 meters, 251 yards, machine washable, cool tumble dry. Um, and that's and this one is turtle dove. So this one is turtle dove. So I got that. That's from Dearmore's. And then I got this from Dearmore's too. It's King Cole. I can't pronounce that. It's a DK. It's a Fair Isle Effect self patterning yarn. I can't say this. F J O R D. I think, yeah. It's a DK weight. But it's supposed to be a self patterning yarn. Um, it's. It's soft. It's King Cole. Most King I've so far I've not had a rough King Cole yarn. They've all been soft and nice. Um let's see if I can find any information here. 100 percent anti peeling acrylic, approximately 273 yards, 250 meters, hundred grams. Um Machine washable, cool, uh, says you can dry on cool. And I can't say this name right here, but that's the color. T-Y-S-S-E. I want to say Tice, but I'm not sure. But it, it shows, like, what it's supposed to look like, like, in the patterning. But I think that's, that's knitted. I don't knit, so I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so that's all I got from Dearmore's, just those two. Okay, now, let's move on to Hobby. This is where my disappointment came into view. But this is totally my fault, because I didn't pay attention. So this isn't anything to do with Hobby. It's not their fault. It's totally all mine. So, I ordered this Diablo, Diablo, Diablo Glitter. Um, it's really pretty. Um, and it's really, it's not, it's wooly. Um, it is 37% acrylic, 31% polyamide, 
28% mohair, 4% polyester, 25 grams, 205 meters, 224 yards. Um, and this is where I messed up. It is a zero on the thickness scale. It is very, very, very thin. Like, it's super thin. I thought it was a two weight for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but it is zero. It's hand wash, lay flat to dry, and the color number is just zero five. So, this is one of my disappointments because I don't know why I thought it was thicker than it really was. And then when I got it, I was like, that's super thin. But I'll figure something out. I don't really like working with thin, thin yarns like that at all. Anything less than a three, and I'm, my mind just goes, what? <laughs> So, this one is Hobby Universe. The Hobby Universe. It's really pretty. It's super gorgeous. But for some reason, I thought that it was a four-way. Why? I don't know. I thought it was a four-way. I'm not going to lie. I don't know where I got mixed up at, but I even double-checked on their site, and it does say the weight that it does say on here, on the label. I don't know why I was thinking it was a four when I ordered it. Um, I wouldn't have ordered it had I known. I just thought the color was pretty, so I was like, oh, I want that color. And it's sparkling. It's 98% acrylic, 2% polyester. It's 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 462 meters, 505 yards. It's a super fine number one. Machine washable, do not dry. Um, actually it doesn't say anything about drying on here, it just says washable. I don't know. Um, the color number is 20. So yeah, this ended up being a super fine number one. For some reason, my brain decided that it was a four when I ordered it, so I don't know. This one I'm not disappointed in. I thought this was really, this is kind of neat too. It's soft. It's it's not like super soft, but eh, it's a little scratchy. A little bit, not much. Um <clears throat> this is mohair delight. That's all it says, mohair delight. Fifty percent mohair, fifty percent acrylic. Um, color number two. It's just like a kind of like an off white color, like an eggshell I don't know. I'm not really good with colors. To me, that looks like an eggshell. Mm. Anyways, so it's 50% mohair, 50% acrylic. I already said it because it says it on the front. Duh. Uh, it's 50 grams, 1.75 ounces, 150 meters, 164 yards. And it is designed in Denmark, made with love in Italy is what it says. So this is made in Italy. Wait, I think this one might be too. Yeah, this one's made in Italy, too. So the Diablo Glitter and the Mohair Delight are both made in Italy. Hmm. But this is a number four, so this one I wasn't... This one, I it did say number four. I remember that. Maybe that's why I got these two mixed up or something. I don't know. Maybe I thought they were both number fours because I was looking at this first. I don't know. Who knows? Anyways, that's all I got from all one, two, three, four four places. That's it. Just small little orders. Um, so that's all I have for you guys. Um, please no negative comments, only positive vibes, and I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks.